right, so what we have here is a Hemi engine block from one of the newer Dodge Durangos. And uh, with the welding, this is not the high pressure chamber. This is the low pressure area that, uh, did this get hit? Is that what happened? Yeah, the one of the rod is broken. Okay, rod broke. And, then hit and it the grenaded the edge of this. And so that's been pulled out, and they're thinking if it's possible to weld this back together. Now, my opinion is no, and if it wasn't a Hemi engine block, I wouldn't even try to save it. But um, I have heard about guys that preheat this stuff with a blowtorch, like a propane torch. They preheat it and then can weld it. And uh, so I'm going to put this out to, the, this is going to go on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to put it out to the forums on uh, see what people think about this because we do have all of the pieces that broke off uh, I have a TIG welder and I have a MIG welder um, my worry would be not getting enough penetration to get into this but then that may not be necessary the way these are made as a casting versus uh, just holding it together so it holds oil um, because, like I said, this isn't a high-pressure part of the engine block. It's just they're, when they're made, they're all made in one piece. And so, if somebody out there wants to give me some opinions on this, tell me if it's a total write-off or if maybe the block is salvageable. I think his plan is to put a new rod in and uh, see if it's possible to weld this engine block up. Anyway, uh, I'll be open to the opinions. I heard about this, but it's kind of a little more advanced than what I do. But if I can crowdsource some information on the internet, or if anybody knows <laughs> in the Portland area where I could get a uh, a short block for uh, what is this that 07 or 2010 model? 2004. 2006, you said? Four, four. Four. A 2004 Dodge Hemi motor. Um, I'm open to suggestions on this.